today I'll be showing you how to um, braid your uh, wires so this could be on the ESE motor any wire that's got three connections on it so you cannot actually do it on two connections uh, two wires so like that you cannot braid these uh, but you could do uh, three cables um, yeah so uh, let's get started first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these out now this does risk on um, not damaging your wires but just making them a bit more hot because they're all uh, sort of bundled up together but if you're running something like um, uh, some you know near fan or something like that I think they'll be absolutely fine uh, just make sure they don't get too hot and again they do actually sort of mess around with your wires just a little bit uh, you can just straighten them out they'll be uh, they're, they're just, they'll be fine um, I've had no problems with them so what first thing you need to do is you need to get your free wires now if it was you I'll recommend to go and put a uh, get bit duct tape or something and write all the, the uh, what they are so A B and C so this one here is A uh, this one here is B and this one here is C so what I'm actually going to be doing is I'll be twisting this one around like that you want to do a quite tight braid and then you go and twist this one and then I think you sort of get the drift of it just like that and you do this one you do this one now this is exactly the same as um, I think it's plats I'm not 100% sure but if you still don't know what to do um, just go and ask ask someone or um, just have another look on what you can do now this is super simple um, I, I guarantee nearly everyone can do it um, see it's, it's really simple it looks really nice to me uh, instead of having bunched up wires off like that and it doesn't have to be one wire you can do it on multiple so have I don't know six wire well I don't recommend six wires on each each sort of thing but if you if you sort of got an, a, a servo that you don't mind just cutting the end off and sort sort of soldering it a, another connector on go and do it I, I don't I would do that easy so this is what I was talking about um, with the uh, 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 what one switch so if if you don't do it you've got to sort of trace it back and it'll take a bit longer um, so first of all I'm going to get this one around and that's A I assume A goes there now what there, there's a few problems that you can have um, so I already said uh, about um, uh, the wires they can get a bit hot there's also that um, over time I mean I'm, I'm talking years uh, there will the metals inside here will start to break I'm not responsible of any damage you cause so uh, this is oh and also if you don't really know if you didn't notice if you don't watch my videos um, I am sort of doing a project with this um, sort of, uh, commented on my video that um, I shouldn't um, put in any money on this um, this car um, well at that sort of time I have ordered a bunch of parts um, yeah but I am having a blast with it um, another thing uh, the you know the pins that go through uh, the um, hexes well I lost two of them <laughs> uh, yeah so I've ordered some of them and uh, that's why I haven't seen any more sort of videos with it um, I've got 
Oh yeah, and I exposed the bearing inside this uh, knuckle. 